Hey guys, this is Sean. I'm back again with another creation. In this video, I'm going to be working on my Wolverine costume. I'll be focused on the upper body armor and I'll even cover the paint. As you can tell, I've already painted it. Yeah. Hope you guys dig the video. I've already got all my patterns traced onto this EVA floor mat. This is basically my chest piece and all of my back piece. Now I'm going to go in there and cut out all my pieces. Cut out my pectorials and make sure I cut in a slight inward angle. And then the lower pecs I usually cut in an outward angle. But the middle one I cut in straight 90 degrees. And here's what your chest piece should look like. And here's a shot of my back pieces. And these are the tabs that connect both the back and the front together. I've already laid down my glue. I usually wait about 5 to 10 minutes for it to dry to attack before I start attaching all my pieces. Then I would attach all the pieces for one side of the pack and then I would repeat the process for the other side. And then once I get that done then I put them both together. You want to be careful with this. Make sure that your edges line up properly and neatly just like that. Now I'm going to attach the straps for the trap area. And then when I'm done with that, I go and put the tabs for the back strap, which I'm going to glue some Velcro and there's going to be some elastic strap from the back piece that connects to this. Moving along to the back piece, I'm going to glue both sides to the center, just like that. And once I get it looking nice and spiffy, I'm going to now attach it to the front piece. And what's cool about doing it this way is that you can actually wear the upper chest piece without the abdominal. In case, you know, I want to go, what do you call that? Crop top? I don't know. And some of you guys are probably thinking, this looks just like Red Hood. Well, yeah, if it works why not and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out my abdominal pieces on some six millimeter craft foam I'm gonna trace out my muscles then score it with a razor blade then I'm gonna apply some heat and do the same thing that I did with my red hood abdominal pieces except for this is just a different pattern now the trick is to get your muscles really defined is to make sure you get your hot glue all the way inside crevices and let it dry up before you let go that's how you get your definitions. Now I'm working on my shoulder pauldron blade thingies. I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna call it that thingy. I have it glued onto the shoulder blade and the chest area. And now I'm working on some accents, which are like stripes, but I wanted to have them all beveled is she. And since I liked it so much, I decided to repeat this process six more times because I made three of them for each side. This will give it that classic Wolverine look. For the rib area, I used some sport type material, which was strong and durable. Then I just glued it to the abdominal area. I had some Velcros and some buckles in the back to strap it down. Applying these stripes, I used a heat gun and then I softened up the accents and then I would apply it onto the rest of the armor. Now I'm gonna put some trimming, I think. That's what you call it. Call whatever, I don't really care, but it looks cool, I think. This will help me separate my color schemes a little bit better. Before I go to paint it, I gotta make sure I put a couple coat of Mod Podge because if you don't, then the foam will just absorb the paint and you'll have this dull looking finish. So it's a good idea to go in there and put a couple coat of Mod Podge. I decided to go with the copper and some navy and some bronze look. I originally tried gold, but it looked really funny. So I changed it to bronze. See how it contrasts a lot better. I went ahead and painted all the accents on the sides with the bronze paint. And I really like the way it pops more now. So yeah, this is pretty much what it's looking like. I haven't weathered it or shaded it yet. But I'm really eager to see how it's going to turn out. Alright guys, I hope you guys dig the video. I hope you guys learned something. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the color scheme. I'm really digging it. I'll be posting more pictures of this on my Instagram of me wearing it really soon. Hopefully later today or tomorrow. But yeah, and uh, in the next video, I'll be covering the arms and the legs where I take some old cosplay and repurpose it for Wolverine because I didn't feel like using new material when I had old ones laying around that I can reuse. So, uh, so make sure you guys like this video hit that subscribe button and click on that notification button so you guys get notified whenever i put up a new video yeah follow me on all my social networks and i guess this is uh it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one